altitude, minus 2,700. Orange County Airport, Montgomery, New York. Automated weather observation, 1220, Zulu. Wind calm, visibility 1, 0. Sky condition, view 1, 2,000. Temperature, minus 0, 6 Celsius. Dew point, minus 0, 8 Celsius. Altimeter, 3, 0, 4, 4. Remarks, density altitude, minus 2. Well, folks, welcome back to the channel. I have a passenger on board. Uh, her name is Olive. Hey, hi. If you guys can see her in this camera or not, she's gonna hang out with us today. Uh, we're gonna go to uh, Braden Air Park in Eastern Pennsylvania. They do a couple of things there today. Other than it's supposed to be good, a little windy later, so on the flight back, I'm sure it'll be fun like usual. <laughs> but uh, she has her earmuffs on. It's the best if I can put them on. Um, that was her second time in the airplane. Hopefully she uh, gets out of the way from the Johnson bar. I already have it programmed. On November 4, 3, 64 nautical miles away. Way. Should be a fairly uh, good flight. This might be some haze in the area, uh, but typically that's about average right now. Uh, hopefully that camera is uh, angled correctly. <clears throat> a taxi on Alpha, I'm gonna go to runway 22, and basically a straight out. The sun's coming up, right at the east. Okay, so I'm gonna do the checklist, get that out of the way. Got a nice walk around. It's a bit cold out, and sometimes you get some ice in the hangar. You might find a place in the engine or somewhere, uh, especially because I have it plugged in. But nothing's going on there. All right, let's do a checklist. I'll be right back with you guys. Hey, okay, checklist is good to go. Put that away. Okay, I'll get to sit over here. Okay, we'll put her in the back seat so there's no. Uh, around with the Johnson bar, everything's out of the way. Let's rock and roll. What do is we're gonna get flight following to out of New York, so do uh, 3275, already puts a one in front of that. We already have Unicom in uh, for Orange County. We're good to go, 4,500. Traffic. Anybody ask for basic final for 2 2? Uh, nobody in sight that way. Clear, clear, clear. We're all good. Doors are locked. Things are locked. This is Orange County Automated Advisory. Wind calm. Visibility better than 10 miles. Temperature T2217. Altimeter 304. T. Preferred calm wind runway 04. Pilot discretion. I'm going to use 2-2 because two, two, we're going to straight out, so it's on direction. Further services, click your mic three times for an advisory four times for radio check. And Orange County traffic. I'm going to be taking 2-2 two, two for a straight out departure Orange County. Okay, let's rock and roll. Okay, we're all set. We're all clear. Let's rock and roll. Fly to right rudder. And we're off. All right, get that gear. All right, gear's locked. Okay, 
traffic, uh, we depart your pattern to the uh, southwest. See you later. Lots are up. Let's get New York approach. And New York, good morning. Mooney, 688, 7 November request. Mooney, 688, 7 November, New York, uh, say request. Good morning, sir. Just part of Orange County. I'm headed to uh, Bregan Air Park, November 4-3. Climbing through 2,300 for 4,500 requested flight following, sir. Number 6887 November, for now, squawk 0327. 0327 in a box now for 87 November. November, radar contact two miles southwest of Orange County Airport, altimeter 3045 at Stewart. And you said you're going to November 43? Uh, that's correct, sir. Uh, Braden Air Park. Eight seven November reset transponder squawk four two two seven. Four two two seven down the box for eight seven November. Man, these things climb like crazy in the winter. I love it. The fuel pump can come off now. Hang light can come off. The position lights on. The nice, beautiful sunset coming up over the wing to our left, towards the east. Approaching altitude. Okay, 500 feet reminder. You see New York City, beautiful with the sunset in the background. I don't have my other camera, so it kind of stinks, but... Alright, we're going to level off 4,500. Like when you get level, and look at the ETA. <laughs> look how fast it's going downhill. Because we're level, and now we're speeding up, and that uh, ETA changes. <laughs> like in a warp speed. Okay, we can pull the power back a little more. We're perfect with the man inches here. Manifold pressure, RPMs are good where they're at. We can go back a little bit more. How you doing, girl? I took her earmuffs off. Well, I tried. We have flight following out of New York. Thank you, ATC. Always doing a great job. And we're just cruising along here. Pretty good. It's 1950 New York. Departure. Good morning. Direct code. Climb and maintain 16,000. 
Got some weather down here a little bit. Uh, we're going to cross, but I don't see anything. It's high. We'll keep an eye out for any type of carb ice right now. The carb um, outside temperature is 34 degrees. Carb temperature is 51 degrees. So we'll keep an eye out for carb ice. Starting to build up there. I don't see anything yet. We'll keep an eye out. It's clear here and I can see the, st uh, the stacks um, I fly over all the time when I go to Braden those two stacks it's a power plant I can see that from here and that's literally five nautical miles going towards more of the west to Braden so I see very clear so we'll keep an eye out for any uh, rain uh, that could possibly turn into ice but beautiful I wish I had the other camera uh, what a great background with the sun behind the city. Beautiful. And this camera won't do anything justice. But we'll try and see if we can get some of it. Not really. It's alright. Okay. It's 1950 contact New York Center on uh, 132.17. Take care. These airplanes perform amazing uh, when it's cooled out, when it's cool. I mean, that air is nice and thick, and uh, the prop really grabs it. In the summertime, it, the air is thin, so that's why you got to be careful. Weight and balance is very, very important. It is important no matter what, but more so in the wintertime, high humidity, high temperatures, uh, you might have an issue, even if you're at max, you might have an issue at a short runway, especially. So flying is not just getting the plane and going. Uh, when you have, like when I have four people, you know, I do weight and balance. I uh, make sure like the, uh, in, uh... Number 6887, November contact New York approach, 128.55, 2855, take care. 2855 now, happy new year, 87 November. This is a busy channel, but it's early, so it might not be busy. Roger, good morning. He's at uh, 422 off of Marstown, just 11 to 2 with you, 4,500. New York, morning, Flex 1532, Heavy is with you, passing 10.2 on the Philbo 3, information Charlie. 3015, Flex 22 left, Flex uh, 1532, Heavy. We have a headwind up here. 34 knots. So true airspeed is 156 and ground speed. JS 5500 request proper clearance to Oxford. Uh, indicated 155, uh, true airspeed 163. And ground speed 134. It's a pretty fast uh, Ranger. I've heard that a couple I've heard that a couple times. New York. I don't know if you heard me, but Booney 8 September is with you, 4,500. 300 up to 3,000, 1048. Departure Flex Jet 574 is with you on the departure leveling 1,500. 308,574. Hey, we'll keep it below 230, uh, 1048. Sky, a sky view here, so uh, the GPS altitude is 4200, change there. 
Uh, we're going to November 4-3. 33 nautical miles away, 22 minutes. Yeah, my current location. Climbing, and November 4-3 again, 43 nautical miles, 21 minutes. And about 8 o'clock we should be there. Right, turn 3 2 4 down, sir. 59. That's 2 6 0 8 10 48 Zero four zero FedEx fifteen thirty two heavy. I don't see any participate or a rain. Uh, Ten thousand precipitation <laughs> anywhere. We got that one big snow in the northeast here. One four zero three thousand FedEx. Uh, we got about uh, like where I live in, in the Orchard. And New York, uh, Mooney is with you, 687 is with you, 4,500. Uh, Mooney, 8, 7 November, we can hardly hear you, sir. 8, 7 November, you're loud and clear, altimeter 36. 316 altimeter for 8, November, thank you. Direct to Albany, normal speed, got it, 1048. You barely hear him, I had to put the squawk on, I can hardly hear him. Sometimes, there, sometimes that channel does that. I can't figure out. Yeah, he's direct Colton, you're not simply it. We'll get Allentown shortly. We had 18 inches of snow, uh, and then two days later it rained like crazy. It's like 55 degrees, and all of a sudden all the snow, and as you can see below us here, is all gone. Literally. So it was a mess. With 443 heading a 040 with, with the water. 040 vector. Uh, 443. Sussex. Vector 12085. Which is right here. 12085. Sussex. VFR chart. 32 heavy, descending main. Another 5000, FedEx 1532 heavy. FedEx 1987. We're going to go to information. 90, join two two let's, let's plug in. Uh, where the heck are we going again? What's that? <laughs> November 4th. Probably already there. Let's go November 4-3. Braden Air Park. Let's go to comms, and Unicom is 23-0-0. So we're going to tune that right up here. So that's in the standby. And uh, actually, we'll flip, we'll flip it now. Oh, we got that in the main here, in the bottom. Let's exit out. And we're going to use 1-8. One, one uh, one eight at Braden, I believe. At one eight three six. I'm gonna use one eight. I like one eight. Field traffic inside for number forty six ten. Forty six ten. The reason why I like one eight number one. A little downhill. At the at the top of the runway, it goes a little bit down. And when you come in three six, it's uphill, but it's it's weird. It's a sh little, it's a little up uphill. Put it that way. It's hard to explain. Thirty one. You plan on canceling the air on the ground? Today? So you got to hit it just right, or you're going to bounce. Um, and the other thing I don't like about going three six, laying on three six, is that on the other side of the runway, the one eight side. Yeah. They have a lot of commercial. You got the bank there, some homes, and if you have an engine roughness or issue, or you, know, you try to simple the brakes, if anybody, I, I go around. I don't mess around and try to stop. You're going to end up off the side and, and into the bank or in the home or whatever. Standing one eight, the other side of the runway, the three six approach there is all fields. So that's why I like to use 1-8 mentally uh, for safety reasons. It's easier to land on that runway. So, but we're doing pretty good. 18 minutes away. Uh, he'll get me Allentown hopefully soon here. Okay, carb is about 50 degrees now. So keep an eye out on the RPMs. Just to make sure. Olive. Approach, good morning, Springs 1189, 10,200, descending 7,000 at Crank, at Crank Charlie. 1189, here's approach, ILS 22 left, the altimeter is 3049. 3049, thank you. 
Approach Castle 31 has Marstown in sight. Castle 31, you put the visual approach Marstown Airport. Visual All right, we're going to switch tanks. Uh, ten, you're five and a half, five plenty of places to land. Across the ground, speed to your discretion. Caution wake turn. All right, you'll pump. One one eight three. We'll see you. Eight two three. We'll swap, swap it over. Seven, all right, we're all the way over. Any roughness? I'm going to run. It, you know, put it right back to the other tank. Okay, looking good. Fuel pressure is good. Let's take the fuel pump off, see what happens. All right, drop down a little bit, obviously. Uh, we're good. Departure United 2444, 1000, climbing 2500. 2444 is our contact. Turn right 260, I maintain 10, 100. Heading 260, 10,000, United 2444. Castle 3 1, no traffic between yourself and the airport. It appears to be something in uh, to the south of the airport just departing 800 feet. Inter service does terminate and change to advise your crew. We'll be listening for the cancellation. If you change your crew, I can cancel IFR Castle 3 1. IFR cancellation is. And the heat works good in this plane. The good thing is, when the interior was done in this with the last owner, I want to say maybe 30, 30, several years ago, he re insulated everything. It really holds the temperature and it holds the noise back a little bit. I mean, they're all noisy. Traffic 11 o'clock in a mile. A little bit less. Descending six. No pop up here shortly. Sorry, Dave. Not Dave. UPS 3074 Heavy New York ILS approach runway 22 left. Charlie is current 3049 yield seven. Two left. 1532 Heavy turn right zero six zero. Zero six zero. FedEx 1532 Heavy. Confirm the heading for United 2444. 2440. Thank you, sir. 260 heading 2444. You wake. Player Stone Advisory Only Airport. CFR Automated. 1400. Zero at three. Visibility one zero. Yes, 2073 heavy radar contact. Flooding 240. Maintain 6000. 240. 6000. UPS 2374. Density altitude missing. PS 3074 heavy, turn left 090, vector final, descend maintain 5000. 090 down 5000, PS 3074. 687 November, contact Allentown approach 124.45, good day. 24 for Ace number, good day, thank you. 2445. 2445 now, Ace number, good day, thank you. 2444. Allentown, good morning, Mooney. 688, 7 November is with you, 4,500, going to Braden. 688, 7 November, Allentown approach, Allentown, all 3045, advised prior to altitude changes. 3045, and I'd like to go down to uh, 3,500, sir, if we can. 8 November, Roger, advised uh, altitude changes from 3,500. Advise anything changes, 3,500, for 8 7 November. It's been down to 3,500. This is a busy sector. Um, and a lot of planes that go on the JFK, Allentown, or I'm sorry, the city, uh, JFK, Newark and stuff, they hit off the Huguenot uh, via war, depending on where they're coming from, obviously. And there's a lot of jet traffic through here, so they like to, to let, they, they, even if you're VFR, they would like you to let you know, they would like to know if you're going to make any altitude changes. Look at the landing light on now. You can look at the smokestacks. I have it clear. I have, I mean, a hundred mile visibility here, um, but I can see the smokestack going straight up, which is good. So one eight will work for us. And pull the power back a smidgen. Slowly pull the power back. Now it's very cold outside, so it's 35 degrees out, and you got to figure uh, the wind chill. We're going 135 miles an hour over the ground, uh, so it's pretty cold. I mean, it's cold out, so you don't want to in a high performance plane. And you, you know, it's my opinion, um, you don't want to just pull the power back to idle and just go, go into the airport. It's not good for the engine. So you have that engine operating at this temperature, and all of a sudden it's going from this temperature to this temperature in a hurry, and it could cold, 
shock the engine. So, uh, altitude. Gotta be careful with the stuff like that. So I like to do it, you know, 20 miles out or so, an inch back or so, the manifold pressure, and the RPMs can stay where they're at. Okay, so we're all looking good, no traffic. Stalk loves the airplane, which is good. Hey. Oh, she likes the airplane, which is nice. Take her to Block Island. <laughs> All right, so let's have one, two, three, zero, zero on the Unicom on the, on the uh, SL30. I love the fact that Dynon uh, synced those two, which is nice. I don't have to, you know, mess around. Because the only reason why I say that is because I got the throttle and the RPMs all right here in a mixture. So, you know, you don't really want to mess around too much down here. Um, and it is what you can. It's not like it's a big deal. But I do like it. I can do everything from here, except for the, uh, uh, the nabs and whatnot. All right, so we're down to almost 3,500. We'll put another half, a, about another inch back. Almost exactly, uh, almost exactly an inch. And my hometown, Phillipsburg, is off to our south. Around, uh, departing the pattern, uh, traffic. Uh, people at Blairstown. Uh, Blairstown's around here somewhere. Uh, oh, right here. Oh, this guy just took off, so he's 3,000 below me. Oh, we gotta look out for him. Landing light is on. All my strobes are on. Downtown, November 720, Charlie Tango, 45 for 8. Number 720, Charlie Tango, on town approach. Downtown, Tanner 3045. Clear direct to the float intersection. Foxtrot, Lima, Oscar, Alpha, Tango to join Victor 39. Clear direct flow for Victor 39, zero toy tango. He's out, straight out of departure, looks like. Have him in sight. Okay, looking good. I don't know if you guys can see in the camera. Maybe when we get closer. Uh, Piper Archer number 55433 is back the off of uh, Blairstown. We're climbing to 8,500, headed to uh, Whiskey Whiskey uh, Delta. Who is calling off of Blair's town maintain via Friday below 3000? What's your call one more time? Uh, November 55433. Five, Somebody said traffic, Cherokee is inbound. 55433, squad 04 and again maintain via Friday below 3000 for traffic. Airport, VFR, 0422, maintain uh, via Friday below 3000, uh, 433. Let's get down to 2500. 27 November, uh, traffic at your 6 o'clock, less than a mile uh, south south of westbound, climb to 3000. Cherokee. Right, we've been looking for the traffic for 8th November. I saw him uh, take off over at Blairstown. And I'm requesting sir down to 2,500 for 8th November. It's 7 November. Just uh, let me make sure that he has you inside. I know you might have him, but he's behind you. I'll copy that, sir, for 8th November. Cherokee, uh, 433, three, radar contact a mile to the east of the uh, Blairstown Airport. The Allentown Center is 3045. Yeah. Traffic 1 o'clock, less than a mile southwestbound. 3,500. I'm going to report him in sight. Uh, traffic in sight, 433. Lighter maintain visually is going to be descending. Mooney 8th of November, VFR descent and two brains approved. Okay, VFR descent and brains approved for 8th of November. Thank you, sir. I love those guys, man, I tell you. I, I don't know if I could do ATC. I think it's cool to watch them work in a tower or in a box somewhere, not in a tower, depending on what you're doing that day. Um, but I don't know if I can do it. It's so much stress on your shoulders to make sure you're watching, you're not forgetting where planes are, making sure they have you in sight. Make sure, making sure, making sure, because they don't want they don't want an accident to happen on their watch because it could ruin their career and their lives. Uh, and so it's it's a stressful job for sure. You got well, right now it's a little bit slow, obviously, for the pandemic. But you have the GA planes to worry about, and you have commercial. That's a lot of 
constant. Then when you have, like the last channel is on for New York Approach, a 28 channel, that's a busy, that's a busy sector. And, you know, they have me, they're watching me as well, and I give those guys a lot of credit. So ATC, thank you. I mean, the GA guys really appreciate it. Blue Streak 5105, 1.9, climbing 8,000, runway heading. Blue Streak 5105, I'm down to part, runner contact, turn left heading 290. Yeah, I might be able to see the smokestacks. Yeah, you can see it. That camera. Braden Air Park, we're going to go down to 14,000. Search uh, pattern altitude, so we'll put 14,000 in here. What the heck? Get, I'm going to get used to using this thing. And we'll pull the power back a little bit more. We're about 13 miles out, looking good. A little bit more ma uh, bit of mixture. They got the carb temperature at 49 degrees. It turned yellow, so it makes you realize, hey, you know, we're a little yellow here. Keep an eye out for carb ice. Moisture. Approach 55433, still one at 3000. 433, three, uh, VFR climbing approval, how high are you climbing to? Right, we're going to try 8.5, we're going to try to get over the top of the Philly class Bravo here. You said 8.5? Permitive. Roger, maintain VFR out of below 8,000 for now, you'll be talking to the center at 8.5. Okay, out of below 8,000 for now, here we go. Alright, looking good, looking good. We've got some weather above us. I can see it, but it's not dropping anything. Blue Street 5105, clear direct to Lancaster, contact New York Center 124.62. 2462, direct to Lancaster, good day, Blue Street 5105. Direct 433, squawk 1105. 1105-433. My buddy Russ is picking me up. Supposed to be there uh, almost a half an hour ago. My hangar at Orange County. Uh, iced up, and I couldn't get it to break ice, because what happens is I'm facing north, so the sun doesn't hit that at the end of the day, so it gets ice quick. Um, it, it, it leaks the snow, and the water comes off the top of the uh, hangar, uh, and it just runs down and sits. And then if it freezes, the hangar has a hard time opening it, so I had to put some heaters on there and whatever, but it got it free, so I'm a half an hour behind. But now, you shall see the smokestacks, how they're going straight up. The winds are calm as reported. Uh, I want to use 1 8. I don't know if they have any. Uh, um. Approaching altitude. Okay. So let's look for this airport. It's always hard to find. Very light, 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 low layer fog. I can see right through it in some spots. I got some hot air balloons over to our left, two of them. Oh, they like coming out in this weather. All right, let's look for Braden. We'll stay at 1,800. Got plenty of fields below us. God forbid anything shall happen. Let's put 180 in the uh, thing. So I know that's the one way we're going to be going down. Alrighty. Cherokee 433, contact New York Center on 132.15. Uh, airport 132.45, uh, 433. That was 132.15, 1515. Uh, 3215, my bad, 433. 28, 7 November, no traffic observed between you and the airport. Radar services terminated, squawk VFR, for extra change approved. Terminated, squawk VFR, for the change approved. Happy New Year, sir. Thank you for everything, and 8 Center number. Good day. Okay. All right, looking good. I'm gonna swing out a little bit towards the south. We're six tango X-ray traffic, twelve o'clock, two I'm miles north down. Uh, west, on ten and Cape, four thousand five hundred. Let's get over to Braden Air Park. And Braden traffic. Good morning, Mooney. Eight of November is seven miles out to the uh, north. We'll be inbound for one eight. Braden. Okay, we're looking. I, I got a squawk VFR, almost forgot. So, oops. Uh, VFR, we're good. 1200. Alright, where is this airport? I thought I had it, I lost. It's a small airport, it's 1900 feet, so you gotta be on the numbers. You can't be floating down the runway, because the other half is downhill. Uh, and so you gotta really get these short field landings in and practice for those. Um, 
there we go. Now I got it again. The solar field, uh, just, I guess you would say, west-ish of the airport. I can see that, and that's why I know I'm close. But when you look away, you lose it. <laughs> so that's where I'm at now. I lost, lost it up. Oh, uh, boy. Yeah, I know the airport's right here on the sky view here. So, and the runways go this way. And 18. So we're going to just come on in on a 45. All right, so let's get down, pull the power back a little bit more. Oh, that's the gravel uh, pit there, uh, whatever they do, whatever they do there. So I know that as a point. Let's see. I don't know where. I lost a solar field too. The land light is on. We got our strobes on. We are gumps very shortly. We're three miles out. The airport's in sight. I got it. The solar field, houses, airport. Separated traffic. Uh, Mooney is on a three mile 45. Midfield, left now wind for 1 8, Braden. Okay, smokestacks are actually, you guys can't see it, the cameras won't do any justice here, but it's favoring 1 8. Very, very slight wind. Okay, so let's set up. Okay, we're good. We're almost at gear speed, so we got a 1,400 feet pattern altitude. Basically the same as Orange County. Oh, it is the same as Orange County. And we're going to turn... It's a, a real 45. Close. into the downwind now. Or midfield. We're in gear speed. I'll get that gear down to slow us down a little bit. Gear coming down. Now, I skipped a step. I skipped the gas. We're going to have to go back. And Brayden traffic. Moody's midfield. Left downwind. 418. Brayden. The gas is on. Undercarriage is down. Mixture coming in a little bit. And prop can come all the way in now. And we'll do one, two flaps. And we're at pattern altitude. We're looking good, we're all set up. Gas, undercarriage, mixture, prop, speed. Seat belts are on. The bug is doing good. She's sleeping. She loves the ride. Okay. After in, we're going to trip up. All right, we're all set up. Let's get established on the heading of 180 for the runway. Got the runway in sight. Thirty-five degrees over my shoulder. We'll call that left base. Around the solar field, which is right here. And Braden traffic. Booty is left base now for 180. Braden. Hey, looking good. Leaving altitude. Nice turn. Braden traffic, Moody turning final, 1-8, full stop, Braden. Okay, trim.
500. Okay, thank you. The heat's blasting, my hands are sweating. Okay, we're established. 180, 180. We'll keep the speeds good at 85 for now. We're going to keep pulling back a little bit at a time. Don't want to stall this low. You won't recover, most likely. So we'll keep that right about there. And brain traffic, moving short final. 18, full stop, right in. Cars, I'm sure, get scared. See the plane coming at them. This is slow us down a little bit more. At 75, 70, good, looking good. Little power, little power, little power. Here's down and checked. All right. Okay, that was not bad. Nice land. Nice landing for once. There's some ice on the runway. <laughs> A little. And bring in traffic, we need to do a 180 back taxi for parking. Bring in. Oh, gas pincer is off. Um, fuel pump off, I mean. That's it, we're at Braden, we're gonna do some stuff at the emergency squad where I actually hit my 20th year, believe it or not, as a volunteer in October of uh, this year, or August of this year, 20 years. I can't believe how fast that went. Uh, 20 years. Don't be afraid to volunteer, folks. Communities need us. Can't pay everybody. If you had to pay every volunteer, uh, EMS, fire departments, uh, throughout the country, and other odds and ends that their people are doing, it would, it, your taxes would quadruple, because how do you pay for all those people? So uh, if you can volunteer, that's great for the community, and you're helping people that really need the help. So, Braden Air Park, we are here. The dog had a great time. <laughs> she took her earmuffs off. That's the first time she did that. Uh, and do a couple odds and ends, and we're going to head back to Orange County a little bit later, where it's going to be windy. That'll be a fun trip back, cute like usual. Like always, folks, thanks for flying along. Any questions, email me at pilotfund101 at gmail.com. And I'm very close to a date for another fly-in at Orange County Airport, probably in June. Uh, probably the 12th, rain date the 13th. So keep that, go to my Facebook page, keep that in mind, go to fly in, hang out like like last year, it was a great time. Hey, buddy, clear, what are you afraid of? Uh, it was a great time. I think I had 160 people show up, it was great. Everybody was social distancing. Uh, hopefully this year it's a little bit less stressed with that. We'll see. Um, if you like I'm doing, subscribe to the channel, folks. I appreciate that. Like always, fly safe, be safe, and I'll see you guys next time.